In this Prodigy video, we're comparing old Prodigy Bonfire Spire to new Prodigy Bonfire Spires. What's going on everyone? One Doctor Genius here and welcome back to the Prodigy video. Let's continue moving on forward and as you guys can see in this case I moved to the side. Now in this side, this area like it really doesn't look too good. I mean there's not enough purple obviously, it's my favorite color. Purple, blue. Red, uh, you know, this kind of looks more like a rusty red, and the spray doesn't really look like visible on it. Now in this case, and now in this area, I believe that the problem, I believe it looked nice because we had vegetation growing. Although I'm not sure how vegetation grows off the cliff edge. Like I can imagine it growing on the ground, but not off the cliff edge. And you guys can see they still have a lot of plants, although they removed all of the food and cooking items over here. Not only that, they removed the shell. Now, if you guys ask me personally, I believe that the shell over here kind of looked ugly. So that did go away, but they replaced it with something else. I mean, the food pot could have stayed there, right? It could have actually looked good. And this thing over here, what is this thing? Well, either way, it kind of did look cool. Kind of wish probably didn't remove that because it's like a little water fountain of lava, like a, a bird bath, except it's lava, a lava bath. You know what? Yeah. So this is basically how it looked, they had greenery and plants everywhere. You guys could cook food and it looked like there were vendors or marketers across the entire place. And these pink flowers, they look so good. Now if we head across over here and you guys ask me, this area really doesn't look too bad. They made the monster bigger, they kept the cliff edge, they kept the utensils for cooking over there, they even made a building for some guys to live in, and there's a statue. I don't know what the statue represents, but there's a statue, which means that there is definitely someone living here. You guys can see there's food over there, there's food cooking, and they added two monsters over here. Now the monster level remains the same, you guys can go between different monsters. And really, what I really, I think that in this entire video I'm just ranting about them removing the pink plants. <laughs> I really want the purple plants back. Please put the purple plants back. That's all I want. But in the end, this actually looks a lot better than the previous version because the previous version was just way too small, right? Yeah, previous Prodigy had this problem of being way too small. Now, this Prodigy is actually pretty good in size, although some areas don't look too nice. Also, the background, like, it's way too much red. Like, change it to a different color. I don't think volcanoes... What do volcanoes look like? So this area over here, you guys can see, it looks... It actually looks a lot better. Alright, so this is basically what the lever zone looks like. There's the lever, you guys go click on it and flick it. Now if you guys ask me this, it's meh, it's like, it's equal to what was in Prodigy. And now you guys can see that the skull things over here change to blue, so maybe red represents inside or in heavy areas of the volcano, while blue represents outside. But you guys can tell, I really did not like this because we had to walk far, the lever didn't really look good, so I think that the new thing which Prodigy put on this actually looked much better. I, I'm pretty sure I have it in one of my walkthrough videos, so let me just pull a clip from there. Yeet! Right, so over here you guys can see there's the lever and this is what the area looks like. As you guys can tell, the area looks a lot cleaner and better and the palm trees look better. Alright guys, now let's take a look at this area. As you can, as observed in this area, this looks a lot, and I mean a lot better, right? You guys can tell this entire area looks like there was some food over there, there's some fungus. You guys can see that there's probably some food in these barrels. Seems like that this area is heavily traveled across. And not only that, you guys can see that there are really two monsters over here, and you can skip this monster battle over here. Now, now you guys can tell this area looks more vegetative, and I believe that's because probably someone something is rotting over here. But you guys can tell it still has a lot of detail, and it looks good. Now, not only that, can you take a moment to look at the bridge? I mean, just look at how much of a hazard this bridge looks. It looks absolutely amazing. Like, you have wood over lava. I love this, right? And they even had fencing to make sure that you didn't fall off. It's so nice, right? And of course, you guys can tell that the stairs, yes, this is perfectly aligned over here. These stairs, I'm telling you guys, these stairs over here are perfectly aligned. But you guys can tell, really, this place looked colorful. They had some sort of plants growing up out of the ground, so I guess these are heat-resistant plants. And they seem to be growing around some sort of statues. Are these trees? These look like... Yeah, they seem to be growing around some sort of statue. Like, if you guys look over here, these seem like horns, this seems like the body, the feet, and these are the arms. Right, that's what it looks like. Are these statues? Like, were they moving statues or something? Is this an ancient civilization which fell in prodigy? Oh, we don't know. Let's head to the side over here. Now, this side over here, 
you guys can tell it also looks nice. The lava actually looks like lava. Although, I wonder if they have any animations for the lava. Do they? No. Ah, uh, man. But you guys can tell that they're even green plants. And the further you move along, the more exotic the plants get. You guys can see there's cactuses, there's a purple plant, and there's some shells. Which indicates that this might... Because of the shells, this indicates that this area might have been underwater. Because you guys know it rose up from the sea. Right, you guys can tell that the area is a lot more vibrant than now so they basically kind of degraded it but prodigy's main thing was focused on making the map bigger so your wizard would be bigger the monster would be easier to see but while doing that they kind of cut out all of the decorations out of the side i mean they could have moved some of the decorations on you could like have vines growing out of this lava space over here but all in all it looks good the ground is easily distinguishable from the pets like, the pets don't look like the ground, you guys can see that hot pot spawn in more often, and basically, they just switched up the entire pet spawning location. Now, let's look over here. As observed, the entire area has been zoomed in by quite a bit, and the bridges, man, they, they don't look so scary anymore. You guys can see that really, the um, they removed a lot of detail in this area, which reduced its quality, because you guys know... In the previous area, we had statues and everything over everywhere, and now it's just like all gone. We just have one plant going. We don't even have like, yeah. Really, what I wanted is like, it looked nice. Like the decoration everywhere looked nice. The lava looked nice. You know, right now, probably the biggest complaint I have is on how this place area looks. Right, without the lava, it really doesn't look too good. Like the other area, they still had it looking good. Now over here, compare this area to the previous area. Alright, and you guys can understand why I absolutely dislike it, because even when it's filled with lava, it's just bright colors right into your face. There's no different variation of colors, which kind of makes it look bad. Although they did zoom in and make it easier to see the pets, but different colors would also look nice. Yeah, the area kind of looks dead. I get that this is meant to be a volcano, but you're not supposed to make it so dead that you don't want to play in this area. <laughs> Now one more thing in the Prodigy video which I wanted to talk about is that you guys see this book on the very bottom over here? Well this is a spell book, it no longer exists in Prodigy. This is the book where you guys could collect all of the spells which you guys have learned and basically equip them into your arsenal. Basically you guys learned the spells, read them, kept the book and you basically used to use this book to cast your spells. But instead Prodigy decided to replace it with relics which I kinda don't like. I mean, the spell book was easily accessible, now for relics you have to open it up, and really the spell selection menu is completely changed, the wands wouldn't cast spells, but now your wands cast spells. You know, I really hate the matter of fact that we're only limited to 4 spells and not 6, because that wizard kind of looks pathetic if they can only cast 4 spells, if you guys ask me. So yeah, those are some things which did happen in Prodigy. And yeah guys, so those are basically the major changes which happened between Bonfire Spire of the past and now. And another thing which I would like to mention is just look at the icon over here and then look at the icon in the video. As you guys can see, the icon in the video kind of looks a lot worse, so I do believe that the new icon looks better. But yeah, that's basically everything which I have to say about Bonfire Spire old versus new in Prodigy. So I hope you guys found this video sort of entertaining, figured out differences, and what you guys might have missed out on. Anyways, that's gonna be all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Comment down below which zone should I do next. And yeah, I'll be catching y'all next time. See ya, um, bye, and have a good time. Bye!